Hey, what's up, guys? Second Crip over here back again with some more Crippies mod in Minecraft. Oh, yeah, so that's off. We got started in the pack. We explored a little bit and we got a little bit of mining done. Between episodes, I got some things. Uh, I have grout smelting in these furnaces. And uh, yeah, we're just we're just waiting for some uh, seared bricks. I mean, I'm uh, I'm making uh, I'm going to try to make a seared. Uh, I'm going to try to get started with tinkers today. So that way I can have a uh, that way I can have a pickaxe that, you know, lasts a bit. And pl uh, plus this is this is almost broken. So, yeah. Oh, yeah. Also, I, I saved a piece of grout because I wanted to get the puny smelting book. Smelter recruit. Let's see. So I believe, yeah, this is, hmm. All right, now that you're done tinkering with those wimpy materials Selena thinks you should use, it's time for some real tinkers materials like I use. Metal. Obviously, you'll never be as cool and strong as I am, for I am the one true Thrull McGon. However, I'm sure, however, I'm sure a novice tinkerer such as yourself can learn a thing or two and turn up the heat. Don't forget to join me in my next book, Tinker. Once you have your melter, simply pour some seared stone over a book. Okay then, but yeah, uh, yeah. This uh, this basically gives uh, this basically gives me access to some more material. What the heck is a blood bone? What the heck? Blood bone? I've never seen this thing. Blood over a. <laughs> Are you kidding? What is what is this? I've never seen this. Raging tool does more damage when the holder's health is low. I mean. Cool, I guess. It's slime wood. Huh. Oh, so this is like the so this is like wood that you that you can find on the slime islands, I'm assuming. Overgrowth. Tool slowly grows over slime. And slimy. Tool consumes over slime instead of durability until it runs out. Not friendly towards tools lacking slime. What the heck does that mean? Alright, I, I mean clearly there are some things I need to learn about tinkers still. Like like, I mean, over slime is one of them. Uh, and, uh, yeah. All right, I also need to... S uh, so I also added mini coal between episodes because, like, you know, mini coal, pretty dang useful. So, let's see. Wait, hold on. Didn't I have, like, an extra piece of mini coal somewhere? I thought I did. Eh, whatever. Uh, I need I need some glass anyway to, uh, to make the seared melter because I need a seared ingot gauge or seared fuel gauge which either way needs I'm not five sure I understand. okay I just turned hey you know who off so that should uh, that should be fine oh yeah I did have an extra piece of mini coal <laughs> all right well that's uh that's fine uh, that's fine because I mean these uh, this is basically just one it's basically just one smelting operations worth of uh worth of coal anyway so Let's see. Um, so let's do this seared fuel gauge. We'll do seared melter, and then seared heater. All right. And uh, hold on, smeltery. Uh, hold on, smeltery controller needs a seared heat. So another seared heater. And some copper. Uh, I think it was four ingots, if I remember correctly. Yeah, four ingots. Okay, that's not bad. And I did test this. Uh, I think it is pretty much guaranteed, like, doubling of ores, which is uh, pretty nice. Yeah, that's, uh, I mean, that's that's pretty, uh, uh, that's pretty, uh, pretty consistent. So, uh, I mean, if the, so this can go into the melter. It just makes one ingot, which is, you know, pretty useful. Okay, so... I guess I just need to figure out how the seared heater works. Also, where's the sun? Is it is it about to set? I have no idea. Oh, it's right there. Okay, so eh, we should be fine for a bit. Let's see. So seared heater, seared melter. Does this need like furnace fuels? Hmm. Why did I make this? Why did I make this? I, I should have made a seared tank. I should have made a seared fuel tank. I am not smart. Uh, give me one second. That would probably be better. Seared fuel tank would probably be better for this, just because, like, you know, it, it can take 
It could take liquid fuels. I just realized I'm going to need... Uh, hold on. I, I just realized I'm going to need some iron. Hold on. Also, what kinds of tanks do we have in this pack? Let's see. So we have mechanism tanks. We have create tanks. Can these, like, can these hold fluids? We used to store a large amount of fluids. I'm not... Can this... It, hmm. So can... Can I... Can I break the... Oh, no, no. Shoot. Here we go. Container, uh, survival mode fluids cannot be added or taken manually. Okay. So I'm going to guess the create tanks aren't exactly what I want. What the heck? SB library. I need to hide these. I mean, I also need to hide a lot of the chemical tanks here because holy crap. Um, if, okay, so we got common black hole tanks, uh, this, oh, neat. So this, <laughs> this recipe, is, uh, that's actually a really nice recipe, except for the fact that I need like a pity machine frame, um, which needs redstone, which I haven't found yet. Um, a common pity, simple, advanced, supreme. Hmm. Let's see. So then there's the mechanism tanks, but... Again, I don't have a redstone. Singularity tank. Oh, huh. That's not bad. I could, uh, I could do singularity tank. I could definitely do that. Hmm, tank modifier. Okay, so yeah, singularity tank might be a pretty good idea. So I, all I need to do, crush up a couple iron in here. All right, uh, do I have enough? I don't have enough mini coal to smelt up all this iron, but eh, it's fine. Oh, it's not guaranteed. What the heck? I thought it. I thought it was. Oh my god, that actually sucks. Okay, so yeah, I definitely want to get the smeltery going as soon as I can. All right. Uh, yeah, give me give me just one second. I'm gonna go ahead and uh, smelt some things and. Uh, Maybe try to find some lava. Okay, we got a singularity tank, we got a bucket, now we just need to go find some lava. Oh boy, and there are a lot of mobs dying out here, which is, you know, fine. All right, uh, back in a bit. I'm gonna go see if I can find a cave and see if I can get down to lava level. So much for finding a cave. Apparently, uh, apparently this blacksmith is living in the, uh, yeah, this weaponsmith is living in the outskirts of town. What the heck? Let's see. So let's just, hot stuff. I actually, uh, hold on, S slash FTP backups start. I'm, I'm just, I'm just curious. I just don't know if, I just don't know if I'm going to get my, uh, am I going to get my lava in here? Or is this, or is this going to shatter? And... Oh, that does work. Okay. What do you have? Oh, you have some obsidian. Oh, and some food. Thanks. Uh... I actually don't, mm, I don't need this kelp. Oh my God, but I, okay, you know what? Uh, come back for this. Uh, I already went back for the other come back for this, so remove. And also, hold on, what's up with this? Uh, options, waypoints, yeah. It's gotta be, hold on. Why is it showing in reverse order, by the way? I actually don't know, but eh, whatever. All right, uh, I'll be right back. I'm gonna head back to my house. All right, I'm back home. Now let's go ahead and put this lava in the seared tank. There we go. Now we are, uh, we should be good to go. Uh, I think I just need, hold on. Is there a, hmm. No, I guess I, I guess I must not have put the, I guess I must have disabled the quark buttons or something. I should just try, I try to stack as much as I can in here. All right, I'm gonna need to put down this chest. This will be fine. Uh, keep this on me. Uh, keep the seared heater. Oh, I need, I need a faucet. Uh, well, I need. Yeah, I, I need seared faucet, and I also need a 
casting basin. All right, so casting basin, faucet. Is it getting me nighttime? Oh, it's getting close. All right, um, copper. Oh, that melts really quickly. Thank God. Okay, so seared heater. Get this copper poured all over you, and we have a smeltery controller. Easy peasy. Smeltery controller, all right. So now I just need to figure out the other parts of the smeltery. Let's see, smeltery. So there's seared drain, which is copper and seared bricks. Seared duct, filtered smeltery fluid input and output using copper cans or buckets, which needs cobalt. Seared chute, smeltery item input and output. Hmm. All right, so I'm gonna need a, I'm gonna need like one seared drain. And I actually don't need the seared melter ever again, so. Whoops. All right, so that's basically another copper ore with luck turned into two dust. Yes, okay, perfect. Do have some mini coal. All right, so then we're gonna need some of my seared bricks. Uh, oh wait, I can't I can't put that together yet because this, uh, this isn't a crafting station, so it's not gonna retain its inventory. You know what, while we're, while we're thinking about it, uh, crafting stick, what is this? Empty the grid, balance largest stack, balance and match largest stack. Hmm. Okay, cool. All right, so one seared drain. And I'm definitely gonna need more seared bricks later. I am definitely gonna need more uh, more seared bricks to complete the smeltery, because this, this is definitely not enough seared bricks to complete a smeltery at all. I guess while we're at it, let's just go ahead and make a uh, casting table. All right. And yeah. Oh, um, all right. Let me, uh, let me come back in a second. As soon as I, as soon as I get some more stuff, uh, like some more grout smelted into seared bricks. Oh, there's a cave down there. All right. Uh, all right, screw uh, screw looking for that. I'm just gonna uh, I'm gonna go down into this cave and see what, and see what I can find. Oh my goodness! What the heck? What the heck is happening here? Okay, what is that? Uh, what is that generation? All right. Okay. Um. Maybe I. Maybe maybe just uh, remember this for later. All right, back to finding things. We'll say this big pocket of andesite here will be really helpful for when I uh, when I get started with create because like I mean you need andesite alloy for quite a few things. Okay, I'm just wait. I'm just waiting for. Uh, I'm just waiting for smelting at this point. So I'm thinking, hey, squid, come here. What mod makes it so squid spit ink? Oh, there are dolphins! Oh my goodness! I've never seen dolphins in Minecraft. Oh my goodness. Okay, what's going on with these guys? What are the, they want anything? Oh my God. Okay, let's see. Whoa, all right, that's right. Dolphins give you a buff that lets you swim faster. All right. Come here, squid. Okay. Hi there. Hi there. How are you? You want something? All right. So all my seared bricks are done uh, smelting. And I just need enough to be able to... Uh, I just need enough to be able to build this. So, I mean, granted it can be any size, but I, I mean, I still I still like... No, I still like doing a 3x3 three three on smeltery. 3x3-ish, three three but you know. I just don't want to make too many. Just you know, I need. Uh, I may I may want to save these for later, but I, uh, you know, it's fine. No, not there. That's not where I wanted it. I want it here. All right. Um, I guess dirt. There we go. Dirt again. This should be the drain. So drain. And there you go. We got a smeltery. 
the mighty smeltery. All right, so let's go ahead and put the let's go ahead and put the casting table here. We'll go ahead and put the where's the basin? Oh, it's right here. Okay, basin can go here. We'll do faucet, faucet, and perfect. Let's just do this. And also, I uh, I wanted to smelt a couple of iron dust. Oh, hold on. Like. I guess I didn't get uh, many coal on me, which is fine. Um, so let's do this. I wanted to get a couple of mini coal. Uh, so let's see, uh, drying basin. I mean, because I have a lot of rotten flesh, so uh, so I think I think a drying basin would be really nice to be able to uh, be able to make some leather. Oh, I also uh, that's also why I was out killing squids because I need black dye for this. I also need some wood logs, which I don't have. All right. Uh, I think yeah, I think now would probably be a good time to plant a tree. Right. So, sapling. Uh, of course, I left my bone meal inside. Should probably also. I should probably also get my uh, get like one sugar cane. And like plant it somewhere. Uh, I do I do want my sugar cane growing somewhere. Which probably might it, this probably might be a good time to make a farm of some sort. I just don't know where. Uh, I just need I just need this I just need to grab like uh, a little bit of water so that we can. Start up the farm. Actually, actually, a little bit is uh, the wrong word. I need I need like an infinite source closer to my uh, closer to my place. All right. So let's do an infinite source, say here. This will be this will be good. So infinite. Uh, so one there, and then another one over uh, on the other corner that I dug out, and we should be good to go. And gra granted, I could, uh, granted, it could, like, make an aqueous accumulator, but, eh. Uh, I mean, I I'm not exactly at that point yet, so. There we go. Now we have an infinite supply of water. But where do I want this farm? How about, how about here? It, I mean, you know, whatever. It's, it's not, it's not perfect, but it'll do, so. I'll just plant. I'll just plant that one piece of sugar cane for now, and we'll and we'll use the rest of it. Uh, oh, right. I need uh, I need wood, and it's going to be nighttime again. This game, this game really likes day night cycles. Okay, I mean obviously, but you know. Oh, huh. That was easy. All right, let's chop uh, chop this really quick, and then uh, and then get to sleep. I mean, uh, I mean, this is the, that's really easy. Just getting a, uh, getting the uh, saplings. So, uh, I mean, fast leaf decay for the win. I will say. Okay. So now, uh, and now that we've got that, uh, right, now that we got some wood, let's go ahead and make my drying basin. Drying like a boss. Oh my god, I have, uh, I do not have enough room in here. Uh, might as well dig out a little bit more. Uh, and yeah, uh, might as well just dig out a little bit more, and uh, we'll we'll just. Oh, that's right. Uh, let's put this here. Okay, yeah, that works. So drying basin. We need uh, rotten flesh. That, that doesn't take too long. I think it only takes like what five seconds. Oh yeah, that's not bad. But the problem is, I'm gonna need more sugar cane. Because uh, I only have three right now. So, paper, book. Hello, there we go. So we do this. That'll get me the next book. Mighty Smelting, Smelting 201. All right. So, yeah. Oh, Entity Melting, Tier 3 Materials, Defense. Huh. 
Defense modifiers can only be applied to armor using defense slots. Okay. Cool. Wait, golden. Piglins love that drip. Piglins will not attack you. I mean, that's good. Uh, so, uh, so, I mean, this can go in any armor, pretty much. Wait, the Traveler's armor's back? Oh, shoot, the Traveler's armor's back. I missed this. Oh my god, I missed, I actually missed this armor. This needs copper. Hmm. And glass panes. So what, is, oh, does this do anything? Does this do anything for me? Uh, hmm. I mean, I mean, if it, if it doesn't, whatever. But I mean, now I can make, now I can make a pickaxe that, uh, it'll last, it'll last longer than just, you know, standard iron pick. So let's see. Uh, I might as well, uh, might as well see what kinds of, uh, hold on, I need, so I need, like, a diamonds, uh, where's my, here's my tinker station, um, so let's do a pickaxe, uh, let's do harvest level, okay, so Nahuatl is, uh, it's basically just, um, obsidian cast over wood, which is interesting, so, I mean, there's also, hmm, Tinker's Bronze is pretty good durability and pretty good mining speed. Yeah, well, let's, let's take a look at Tinker's Bronze. Oh, how, do I, how do I get that? Tinker's Bronze. Uh, that is three ingots of copper with one glass. Interesting. Okay, so, so a Tinker's Bronze head would actually be pretty good. Let's just go in here. Um... So harvest level, yeah, Tinker's Bronze is, uh, Tinker's Bronze is diamond. Uh, what, hold on, Slime Steel. Let's take a look at Slime Steel. What is Slime Steel? Um, that is one iron, one Sky Slime, and one Seared Ingot. Sky Slime? Okay, uh, so I'm, I'm assuming this has over slime. Uh, I think I think it has over slime. Let's just check again. Um, harvest level. It does have over slime and overcast. Might it might be in here? Let's see. Uh, slime steel. It is. Uh, overcast. Uh, think coverage. Over slime can be made extra thick on this tool. Okay. Cool. I'm thinking. I'm thinking Tinker's bronze might be might be a good first uh, tool option because we look at mining speed. Tinker's Bronze is up here. So, yeah, let's do Tinker's Bronze. And then and then the binding is pretty much like uh it gives it gives like extra stuff. It might give extra stuff or uh, or it might just uh, give you an extra modifier. So, yeah, give me just a second. Oh, this will be handy. Uh, so, a chain tool binding will give it reinforced, which is tool is less likely to take damage. Okay, so let's see. Chain. How do I make chains? Iron. Alrighty then. So I guess another uh, another iron to. Hold on. Can I uh, can I just put this in the smeltery and double it now? That'd be uh, that'd be pretty nice if I could. Uh, melting. In smeltery, two ingots. Perfect. It's a it's a guaranteed doubling mechanic now, which is good because I mean uh, I didn't I didn't want to have to uh, I didn't want to have to chance it again. So, melt this. Oh, I need an ingot cast. Hold on. Uh, ingot cast. So there's ingot cast from thermal. Hmm. Bronze plates around a nether brick. Okay. Uh, ingot gold cast, ingot sand cast. Okay, ingot gold cast. So it's going to need a gold. I don't have gold. Wait, do I? No, it was at the... Oh, it was at the blacksmith... All right, uh, let me go to the blacksmith really quickly and uh, pick up that chest. Okay, I got the gold from the blacksmith. Uh, now I can uh, now I can delete that, uh, come back for this. Uh, yeah, I can delete this now. And I'm going to need some sort of ingot. So let's just use a seared brick. Because, I mean, seared uh, bricks, uh, bricks are cheap enough, so... Just throw a piece of gold in there. Let that uh, let that do its thing, and we should be good to go. And so uh, we'll be able to just make a permanent cast. 
That'll be, that'll be nice. So, one permanent cast. And then we can pour out my iron. Oh, shiny cast. Uh, that is not what I wanted to take out. I wanted to do that and pour out the other iron. There we go. All right. So that's good to go. Why did I want this again? <laughs> oh my god, I'm just, I cannot believe. I I did I grabbed that and then I Oh my god. Why am I a derp? Why am I like this? I Oh, right, that's because because I was making iron. Chains. That's right. I was making chains. Uh let's see. No. Uh so Oh my god, are you kidding? Oh, A chain. That's fine. Uh, do I have patterns? I have one pattern. Um, so this, this, tool binding, boom. Tool parts. All right. So yeah, we have the, uh, so we have my chain tool binding. Let's, let's just go ahead and, uh, maybe I should just take a look at the tool handle as well. So we just do, we want to do Tinker's Bronze, then Chain. Who the heck is Chain in here? There's Chain. And then if we do, or, I mean, I actually don't know what, what handle would be good for this. Hmm. I, you went, let's see. Oh, maybe, maybe not Stone. Uh, so maybe if the durability goes down with it, that wouldn't be good. Um. Give me just a second, I'm gonna find something. Huh. White stone. Mind stone protects the tool from future damage. That's interesting. Yeah, I mean, it increases the durability of it. it, also increases the mining speed a bit. That might actually be a good tool handle. Let's see. So this needs an ingot of tin, aluminum, zinc. Tin, aluminum, or zinc. Okay, so tin, aluminum, or zinc. It needs one ingot of that with a stone tool handle. Okay, so I'm gonna also gonna need more patterns. Just, you know, because reasons. Let's see. So patterns, I'll just toss these in here. Those will stay there. So we just need to make a stone tool handle. And then we're gonna need some sort of, so it was tin, aluminum, or zinc, which I don't have. So I'm going to need to go find a little bit of that uh, in the hills or something. Because I think I saw some tin over this way. Uh, I'm not sure. Uh, uh, let me come back in a second once I find some stuff. Uh, once I find, like, tin, aluminum, or zinc. There's, like, a little bit of bauxite right here. Uh, I mean, sure, it's just a, it's a little bit of aluminum. But, but I mean, I mean, I have a whole mining dimension. Uh, I have a whole mining dimension that I can tear up to, uh, to my heart's content. So... Yeah. Well, I, I will as soon as I find some diamonds and uh, and some obsidian. Well, more obsidian than I've had. I, you know what? It's whatever. So what happens if I melt this in the smeltery? Foundry. No, that's not not foundry. Uh, should probably get inside and look at this. So let's see. Where's the smeltery in this list? Uh, oh, here we go. Two ingots of aluminum. Okay, so it, doub uh, so it doubles my aluminum, which is yeah, which is what I expected. But uh, yeah, so we'll go ahead. We'll make it. Uh, we'll finish it. Finish this up. Oh uh, shoot! I needed bronze or what? Oh, I needed tinker's bronze. That's right. So three copper and one piece of glass. Okay, so a couple of these, a couple of copper ore, and I'm gonna need like a. I'm gonna need a piece of sand. That's that's not a problem. So aluminum. I mean, I guess uh, I, I guess like aluminum brass isn't a thing anymore. But can this melt? Can this melt in the smeltery into glass? Uh, yeah. Okay. Perfect. I'll just go ahead and pour one ingot out. Might as well make my uh. What the heck? Tinker's mech works. Wait a minute, hang on. 
uh, aluminum? Didn't I change the recipe of this? I thought I changed the recipe of this. Well, crap. Uh, looks like I missed one. So this is a time when I am going to cheat because uh, I want I want my ingots to be unified. OK, so now I just need to do stone tool handle, make some white stone. There we go. And ingot cast go back. So sand, copper. I mean, I'm really glad that it doesn't take too long to uh, to do that. Maybe should, should I make sand? Uh, should I like make a sand cast? I think I can do that. I mean, uh, yeah, let's just make some blank sand cast. Sand casting. All right. Um. Uh, so we're gonna need a quick. We're gonna need a quick stone pickaxe head, I believe. So let's see. Uh, oh, that's right. I need two. I forgot about that. I think I need to do something like. How do I make? How do I make a? How do I make this? Molding. Oh, okay. So in the table itself. Got it. Oh. Okay. Cool. So I can just keep this. That's that's pretty neat. All right. So Tinker's Bronze. Uh, go ahead and make a quick pickaxe out of that. And as expected, the uh, as expected it would get destroyed. So you know that's fine. So pickaxe. We'll do Tinker's Bronze, White Stone, Chain Tool. Cool. Stone Shield. That's right. Uh, tool mines faster when at higher durability. Tools deal bonus damage, which attacks through armor, and tool is less likely to take damage. So, I think I think that's pretty nice. So, uh, I think um, I mean, unfortunately, you can't you can't name your tools in the, by default, but it's it should be fine. Novice tinker, cool. All right, let's also put my uh, ingot cast back and let's. Let's get the Tinker's Bronze out and the Copper out. I mean, I, I mean, I'm... Oh, Flint and Bronze. What the heck? Oh. That's kind of cool. All right. So, uh, so Flint and Bronze. Hmm. I mean, there's a, there's a use for my... Uh, there's a use for my Tinker's Bronze, I guess. All right. So, 755 durability. That's pretty good. And then I just have to go mining. Yay. Right. Might, as well, might as well just use this to double the speed of sugar cane, because my god, that is not growing quickly. And you know what? I've done uh, I've done quite a bit this episode. Like I got started with Tinkers, I got my I got my pickaxe. I think I think maybe between episodes I should uh, I should go mining and uh yeah. Alrighty, right, guys, that'll do it for this episode of Kirby's Mod in Minecraft. Hope you guys enjoyed getting started with Tinkers and getting my first T-Con uh, tool in 116. Stay tuned next time. We're going to be uh, maybe going to the Nether, maybe doing a little bit of mining. Uh, I don't know. Uh, I did say I was I would do mining between episodes, but if I find something interesting, eh, who knows? I may bring you along for the ride. Thanks for watching, guys, and I'll see you next time. Later. Later.